Hello and welcome to this new episode in the spirit of learning during this quarantine period. This time we are going to learn about dimensions. What is a dimension? Dimension in the most basic form is just a mathematical name of a direction. For example, left, right. Now left, right is one single direction, isn't it? So that's one dimension. Similarly, front and back, another dimension. And lastly, we have up and down, the third dimension. But first, let's start from the start. Let's start from zero dimension. Zero dimension is nothing but a small point and this point has no direction. You cannot tell this goes from where to where, how long it is, how wide it is, and how high it is. In mathematical terms, we call it zero dimensions. The next dimension is one dimension. What is one dimension? Now, let's take this point and let's extend it. Let's move it in any direction. Move it, let's say, left to right. Now, this here is a line, isn't it? It has two points. This is point A and this is point B. So this line that extends from left to right is a one-dimensional thing. This is one dimension. But how can we make it two dimensions? Well, we can curve it, we can fold it. So if you try to fold, it's going to be extending into another dimension. So for ease, let's say this is length and it then extends into this. Now this can be the width. So in two dimensions, we have length and breadth. Now, you can make any shape in two dimensions. Whatever you can draw on a piece of paper is a two-dimensional thing. But the easiest way of understanding dimensions is a square. So let's stay with a square. What is a square? A square is a two-dimensional thing that has the same length and breadth. Now this here, this square, is a two-dimensional thing, but it doesn't have a height. So the height is very simple. What we can do is we can then extend this square into the third dimension. And so you have the square turns into a cube. Now a cube, we all understand. We all know what a cube is. So this cube is an example of a 3D or three-dimensional object. So these are the three dimensions. But now we are going to go into the realm of the fourth dimension. What is fourth dimension? Okay, so a one dimensional line is made up of two points. It has two points. So we take two things from a lower dimension, which is zero dimension, and use them to make a one dimensional line. Four of these lines make a square one two three four so you take four one-dimensional things to make a two-dimensional thing now you take six of these squares to make a cube so you take six two-dimensional things to make one three-dimensional thing can you see the sequence here so if you want to make a four-dimensional thing you need eight cubes to make a shape in the fourth dimension and that shape in the fourth dimension is called tesseract just like we constructed a cube by extending the square into a new dimension in the similar way we will be constructing our tesseract so what we'll do is this is a cube we take another cube and we extend it into the fourth dimension now we cannot see the fourth dimension so imagine that this the second cube is invisible to you because it goes into the fourth dimension and these two cubes the cube that we have in our third dimension and the cube in our fourth dimension are connected by these connectors here so we have one two three four five six seven eight eight connectors connecting a cube in three dimension to another cube in the fourth dimension and this construct is a tesseract. Now what you're going to see, the shadow of it, the reflection of this thing, in our three-dimensional world, your mind will trick you into thinking there's a smaller cube in the middle and 
that smaller cube connects to bigger cube. This smaller cube then becomes bigger and this bigger cube somehow becomes smaller. But in reality, the smaller cube that you see in the center is actually another cube of same dimension. Now, for example, let's look at the wireframe of a cube. Now, this is the wireframe of a cube. Uh, or imagine a cube made out of glass. So you can see the other, the opposite square. So the square in front of you looks bigger. And the square just opposite to your viewpoint looks like a small square within this big square. So if you look things in this way, it gives you an illusion that there's a smaller square and then there's a bigger square. But we know because of our three-dimensional vision, we can work around and we can say, yes, this looks like a small square in a big square, but in reality, it's a cube. Now, similarly, this tesseract looks like a small cube inside of a bigger cube connected by these eight connectors. But in reality, these are eight cubes connected together in four dimensions. So the cube that you see that looks like the middle cube actually is the cube that extends into the fourth dimension. And the bigger cube that you see is actually just another face of the same tesseract. Okay, so this is how it would look like if you move it around. Isn't that mesmerizing? <laughs> so <laughs> it is mind-boggling actually. This is the best that we can show at this point of time. And mind you, you have to force yourself to think how this smaller cube in the middle is actually not in the middle. It's in reality, it extends to the fourth dimension and it is actually farther away from our eyes. We also have another example of a four dimensional thing that we can visualize. Before we move on to the client bottle shape, let's go back to our very first video. So the very first video we made on this channel was called Mobius Loop. So if you want to see the video, you can go here and watch the video. If you already know what a Mobius Loop is, amazing. Let's continue. So a Mobius Loop is an amazing, amazing thing. Why? Because Mobius Loop is a two-dimensional thing, a strip of paper, two dimensions. It has a length and a width, but it has no height. So you take a two-dimensional thing and you curve it. So a Mobius loop is a two-dimensional thing extending to three dimensions. You cannot have a Mobius loop without three dimensions. A Mobius loop is a three-dimensional strip of paper, a two-dimensional thing extending into three dimensions. Why am I talking about Mobius loop? Well, we are discussing the fourth dimension. Well, it's very interesting. If you take two Mobius loops and if you connect them, if you glue them together, or if you tape them together, if you zip them together, it will form a four-dimensional shape. And that shape is what we call a Klein bottle shape. So this whole business of connecting two Mobius loops together what it does is something amazing. When you connect two Mobius loops together, you get a surface with no edges. It's an edgeless surface. You can go from any point to any other point without going through an edge. What I mean by that is, if you look at, for example, this glass, if you are here, and if you want to go inside of the glass, well, you will have to cross this edge. There's an edge here, isn't it? Without crossing the edge, there's no way to go from here to here. You must cross the edge. But when you connect two Mobius loops together, you get a shape that has no edges. You can go from anywhere to anywhere without having to cross an edge. And that is super duper amazing. Now let me show you how that would look. So you will have two Mobius loops, you can make one side narrow and the other side wider. Try to connect them and this is what you will get. Isn't that amazing? So, this shape is what you call Klein bottle. So you can connect three-dimensional things together to make a four-dimensional Klein bottle. Now, the big question. If we actually have four dimensions or even more dimensions, why can't we see it?
we cannot see the fourth dimension. Just after the Big Bang, we were locked into this three-dimensional space, and that's what we have. And so the species that evolved have the ability to see in three dimensions. Now, to understand why we can't see in fourth dimension, let's imagine walking down the street, you look up, what you see is those electrical lines. And those electric lines, if you see it from far away, that electric line looks like a simple line. It looks like a one-dimensional thing. But we know very well that these wires are round, cylinder-shaped wires. So to us, it looks like a one-dimensional thing. But let's imagine there's an ant on that electric wire. And this ant goes around. So it can curve around. So we cannot see it because we are too big or too far away to see the dimension hidden inside that thing. But the ant can easily see that. We cannot see fourth dimension because it's too small to be seen with our naked eyes. How small is that? Well, the fourth dimension, some scientists argue, is visible at actually smaller than atomic level. So uh, you might have heard about the string theory. So string theory suggests that at micro of the micro of the micro of the micro of the microscopic level, what you have is you have this extra curved dimension that we cannot see, but the particles that we have at that level can see it. And that's the basics of string theory. And within those dimensions, we have some quanta of energy dancing. It looks very beautiful, actually. Now, some scientists believe that we have up to 10 dimensions. And actually, the string theory argues that we need to have 10 dimensions. And uh, without going into the scientific mumbo jumbo, what I can tell you is when scientists tried to visualize this 10 dimensional world that we have, Einstein's relativity theory popped out. It created itself. So that's kind of amazing. And that goes on to suggest that actually maybe we are on the right path of a 10 dimensional world, but those 10 dimensions are at a very, very small scale of dimensions. And that's why we cannot see them. So thank you for watching. And as always, please comment, subscribe, share this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Until then, bye-bye.